Alright, hello and welcome back dudes and dudettes to another Crashtopia video. This one is a tips and tricks video just showing you how to better farm for the future. So, uh, as you guys can see, I don't really have a base yet. I'm kind of just slapping everything where it's at. Um, but I'm going to show you how to better farm. As you can see, I have some insane stuff here. Collect one patch, 27. Collect another one, another one. If you have sprinklers, which is not too hard to get, you actually will proceed a lot faster. Um, it actually makes it like self-sufficient. Uh, this can be more automated, but this is just kind of me doing the basics right now. Sprinkler is amazing, by the way. But I'm going to show you dudes and dudettes how to set up your farm plots to be like that. So, what you guys may not notice, or maybe have noticed, is that there's actually three in one place. To achieve this dudes and dudettes, you first must go to your workbench. You're going to come all the way down here. To farming and livestock I recommend crafting three because three high will be about the stack that you want to make dudes and dudettes it's gonna roughly get you where you want to go uh, any more than that and we've noticed me and Bradley my buddy have noticed that the, um, it, the it kind of falls off on the scale of how much you're gonna get out of it uh, so it's a lot more useful doing that you will need some of these conveyor belts which I believe are pretty early game uh, I will show you what age I'm in, something not too bad. So right now I'm in the agricultural age, the next age is industry. So I am in a pretty low end age as you can see. It's not too hard to get there. Doing this will help you get lots of money. As you can see I've got 579,000, plus I've got peaches, which I will show you guys how to get in another video, but they are also the most OP things that you can get. So we'll go ahead and place one of these down first. As you can see, I cannot put another one down. So if you want to get going and you want to put more down to sit on top of each other, do what I've done with my wheat fields over there, take one of these conveyor belts, simply rotate it, and have it going towards this. Super easy. Take another one, and badunk. As you can see, it won't sit there perfectly, but you can stack three at a time and start getting 27 wheat and stuff per field. Uh, I believe the peaches are a little bit awkward. You can do this with the regular wheat fields. You can also do this with the uh, farming plots. Couldn't remember what the name was. Sorry about the Facebook notification dudes and dudettes. One of my buddies decided to Facebook me all of a sudden at 11.38 at night. Go figure. But anyways, dudes and dudettes, that's how you can further improve your farming so you can keep going and making all this beautiful bioethanol and stuff. Uh, but anyways, dudes and dudettes, if you do like the video, please like, share, subscribe, tell your friends and your families, and I will catch you dudes and dudettes in the next video. Stay classy.